So long and hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you how to create these 3D planes by using AutoCAD software. Okay, so let's open the AutoCAD file. Okay, here we start to draw the circle. So just type C for circle, press enter. Click here, then we put the radius 300. Okay, then press enter in order to repeat the previous command. Okay, specify the same center. We create a circle with radius of 200. Then here, I create another circle right here. So by using the shift, right click, meet between two points. Then I click to this first point, then this second point. So you can see the circle. So I put the radius 30. By using the array command, we create a circular pattern. So click to this circle, press enter, then we choose polar. Then we specify the center for the circular pattern like this. Then we can change the number of item to 8. Simple. Press enter. Then now, okay, here we have the view cube like this. Now we can change to SW isometric like this. So by using the X root command, we X root both of this circle downward with height of 50. Then by using the press pull command, we can press pull all of the circle so you can hold the shift button then click to the circle in order to press pull press enter then you can move downward okay so you can see the result by clicking to the concept tool view now we need to create another part here so change to 2d wireframe by using the copy edge icon then click to this edge, press enter, then click to this center, then click to this center once again, press enter, press enter. So now we have the circle. Now by using the offset command, press enter. So we put the offset distance 30. Then simply we can offset this circle inward like this, press enter. So now by using the press pull command, press enter, we click to this part. Then you can pull outward with the height of 50. Okay. Next, by using the press pull. Okay. In order to make it easy, we can change to concept tool view. By using the press pull command, press enter, click to this circle. Then you can press pull downward like this. Okay, once again. Alright. Press enter. Okay, so you can see our new model. So by using the union command, we can union all of these objects to become single part. Okay. So here, I want to ask, I want to import the title block. So right click here, then choose from template. Then I find the title block. Okay, here we have it. Then click OK. So now we have the title block. So simply, I want to show you how to create the 2D views from the 3D modeling. So choose base from model space. Then I put here for the scale, I put 0.2 correct. Press enter. Then for the orientation, I choose uh, North is isometric. Okay. Then for the scale, I put 0.2. Press enter. Press enter once again. Now you can double click to this object. Choose hidden line, then choose shaded with visible line in order to create the shaded view. Okay, here I want to put another view, so I just click here. Then for the orientation, I choose top. For the scale, same like the isometric one, 0 0.2. Then simply just click, just press enter, then press enter once again. So here we can move little bit downward like this. Also like this okay so here we can create the sectional view by using this icon click here then specify the sectional line then we can bring to the left click here press enter okay in order to rotate this object click to this object then click to the blue dot press enter three times enter enter then okay just press enter twice Okay, then 
you can rotate this object like this you also can move this text downward like this okay in order to change the text style by using the sp command you can change the font so i choose arial then I click apply close then you, you can double click here in order to change the text so i just put section a8 then you can copy to another part like this then here okay so you can change it to isometric view then here top view okay now we want to specify the dimension so we need to change the dimension style first new then i put 3d flange continue so now symbol and arrows i put the size 4 then for the text height also 4 i choose iso standard for the fit i just tick untick here then on the primary unit i choose period then ok then just click ok ok 3d flame then click to the set current in order to use the current setting then simply we can type the beams command we can put the dimension like this ok alright ok ada 40 then here 50 So here we also can put the center line. You can go to the annotate tab, then choose center line to create the center line like this. Okay. We can change the line type scale by using the LTS command. Then we can put 0 0.4. So you can see the line type. Okay. So here we also want to put the center mark. Just simply click to do circle. Okay. By using the dim command, we can specify the diameter like this. This is 100. This is 60. This is 400. Then this is 340. Okay. Simple. You can double click to the right to the middle mouse button in order to centralize this drawing you can simply click ctrl p uh, press ctrl p in order to plot this drawing so you can see the preview okay then just frame then okay save as 3d planes all right so here we have it the final drawing okay next i want to show you how to render this drawing okay simply you can change to perspective view then realistic visual style you can erase first this sketch as it is not required anymore then by using the material command you choose stainless steel stainless steel ok you choose the polish then the steel polish then simply you can apply to this object by select this object and click to the material okay okay little bit darker no problem so simply now we can go to the visual type okay here we choose full shadow then sky off we choose sky background and illumination so for the rendering resolution we can choose the higher resolution in order to get the quality feature then we can click to the icon in order to render this drawing okay so done with our 3d modeling and rendering for the 3d plane so thanks for watching our tutorial video keep following us for more updates and free tutorial okay thank you bye bye